Chapter 5 Closing the Forge Despite League of Legends being crowned Esports Game of the Year at the Game Awards 2019, the most significant news of the night didn't revolve around Esports. During breaks between awards, Riot Games unveiled trailers for two upcoming single-player League of Legends titles, Ruined King, a turn-based RPG by Airship Syndicate and Convergence, an action platformer by Double Stallion Games. These games were set to be published by Riot Forge, marking Riot's first foray into outsourcing game development for its iconic intellectual property. So what exactly is Riot Forge? Riot Forge is a publishing label under Riot Games that partners with talented independent game studios around the world. Their mission? bringing awesome new League of Legends games to life. They work with external studios to create unique, single-player experiences that expand the League of Legends universe, letting players explore the world and characters in fresh ways. Riot Forge assembles a dream team of indies. They collaborate with talented developers like Airship Syndicate, Tequila Works, Lazy Bear Games, and more. This powerhouse partnership grants these studios access to Riot's resources, fueling the creation of innovative League of Legends games. Each title brings a unique perspective, expanding the beloved universe and offering fresh ways to experience its champions and lore. In a short time, Riot Forge has published six League of Legends games. Each title boasts a unique genre and style, but all seamlessly expand the rich lore of the universe. Fan reception has been glowing, with most titles scoring above 75 on Metacritic. Proving this foray into indie development has been a resounding success. Let's explore their impressive portfolio and see how each game differed from the others. Riot Forge added its first game to its portfolio in November 2021, with the launch of Ruined King, A League of Legends Story. This turn-based RPG, crafted by Airship Syndicate, marked a significant milestone as the franchise's first title developed outside of Riot Games. The name Airship Syndicate may ring familiar due to their previous titles like Darksiders Genesis and Battle Chasers Night War. For me, the initial gameplay trailer for Ruined King stirred a wave of nostalgia. The turn-based combat, emphasizing positioning and character synergy, instantly evoked memories of playing Naruto, Path of the Ninja as a child. This childhood favorite heavily influenced my affinity for turn-based RPGs, and witnessing similar elements in Ruined King filled me with excitement. The story of Ruined King takes players on a journey through Bilgewater and the Shadow Isles. Here, you take control of an unlikely band of heroes, including iconic champions like Misfortune, Yasuo, and Ari, just to name a few. Their mission? To set sail for the Shadow Isles to uncover the secrets of the deadly Black Mist. The game is available on a variety of platforms, including PC, PlayStation 4 and 5, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. With its compelling narrative, engaging combat, and deep connection to the League of Legends lore, Ruined King offers a captivating experience for both longtime fans and newcomers to the franchise. In a move that left some scratching their heads, Riot Forge launched its second title on the very same day as its first. But while Ruined King was poised to be the star of the show, Hextech Mayhem was not so lucky. This decision ultimately saw the fast-paced rhythm game overshadowed by Ruined King's epic journey, leaving some to wonder if Hextech Mayhem might have fared better with the separate launch window. But the game wasn't all bad. Developed by Choice Provisions, Hextech throws players into the bombastic world of Yordle Tinkerer Ziggs. The goal? To cause maximum mayhem in the vibrant streets of Piltover by dodging obstacles and disarming enemies all in rhythm with the music. The ultimate objective? Building the most awesome bomb imaginable. However, unlike Ruined King's critical acclaim, Hextech Mayhem's reception wasn't quite as… explosive. While the core gameplay garnered praise for its frenetic fun, some fans questioned Ziggs as the rhythm game protagonist. Champions like Sona or Seraphine seemed like more natural fits for the genre. This quirky rhythm runner might not be for everyone, but it undeniably offers a unique experience for League of Legends fans. While its surprise launch alongside another title may have stolen some of its initial spotlight, Hextech Mayhem remains a curious and delightful experiment that blends rhythm mechanics with League of Legends lore. Hey Rioters, before we go on, did you know only a small crew of you, less than 5%, are subscribed? We're passionate about creating killer League content and building a strong community here. If you're enjoying this video, why not become part of our crew by hitting that subscribe button? Now, let's get back to the video. 
In April 2023, Riot Forge unleashed another epic addition to their library, the Mage Seeker A League of Legends Story. This hack and slash RPG developed by Digital Sun, the team behind the beloved dungeon crawler Moonlighter, lets players unleash magic and mayhem in the world of Demacia. Visually, the Mage Seeker embraced a charming pixel art style. The Mage Seeker offered a thrilling hack and slash adventure with strategic combat and a unique perspective on the League of Legends lore. While its engaging gameplay and charming pixel graphics were undeniable strengths, sales figures for the title fell short of expectations. Several factors could have contributed to this. The lack of voice acting might have been a turnoff for some players accustomed to fully voiced characters. Additionally, the price point of 30 US dollars on Steam, while fair, could have been less competitive compared to other titles. Games like Hades and Dead Cells, which offer a similar style and feel, though not a perfect comparison, are priced at 25 US dollars and boast a larger volume of content. This price difference, particularly for budget conscious gamers, might have influenced purchasing decisions. Despite these factors, the Mage Seeker remains a captivating experience for fans of strategic action RPGs. Just a few weeks after the Mage Seeker, Riot Forge unleashed another exciting title, Convergence A League of Legends Story. Developed by Double Stallion, Convergence throws you into the shoes of Echo, a brilliant young inventor from the undercity of Zaun. The twist? Echo wields the Zero Drive, a device that lets him manipulate time itself. Imagine rewinding a jump you miscalculated. This innovative mechanic adds a whole new layer of strategy to the classic Metroidvania formula of exploration and combat. Convergence boasts a stunning comic book art style reminiscent of Mark of the Ninja and Shank. The story expands on Echo's lore, but some critics felt character development could be deeper and lore integration a bit tighter. Despite these points, Convergence's innovative time mechanics, captivating narrative, and strong core concept make it a compelling title for any fan of action exploration games. Just before the 2023 holiday season, Riot Forge delivered a heartwarming adventure, Song of Nunu, a League of Legends story. Developed by Tequila Works, this enchanting title launched across a wide range of platforms, including Nintendo Switch, PC, PlayStation 4 and 5, and Xbox One. The story follows a young boy named Nunu, fueled by the loss of his mother. Nunu embarks on a quest to find her across the unforgiving landscape of the Freljord. His loyal companion on this journey is Willump, a playful yeti who shares Nunu's love for snowball fights and magical stories. As they explore, they encounter a cast of characters, both friendly and not so friendly, including legendary champions from the League of Legends universe like Braum, Orn, Volibear, and even the twisted ice magic of Lysandra. The core gameplay of Song of Nunu revolves around exploration, puzzle solving, and, of course, epic snowball fights. Song of Nunu received generally positive reviews, with praise for its heartwarming story, beautiful visuals, and innovative use of Nunu and Willem's unique dynamic. Finally, in February of 2024, Bandle Tale A League of Legends Story arrived. Developed by Lazy Bear Games, Bandle Tale invites you to explore the whimsical world of Bandle City, the home of the fuzzy and fun-loving Yordles. The story follows a young, shy Yordle residing in Yarnville. After completing their knitting apprenticeship in Yarnville, a disastrous party throws everything into chaos as the portals collapse, severing connections between the different regions. You the hero, become the unlikely savior tasked with restoring the portals and reuniting Bandle City. Your unique skills revolve knitting magic, allowing you to craft an array of objects and tools to overcome obstacles and progress through the game. You'll also utilize your trusty backpack house, a portable haven that transforms into various crafting stations and serves as your mobile base throughout your adventure. As you restore the portals, you'll also interact with a cast of quirky Yordle characters and unravel the secrets behind the portal collapse. Having played through each of Riot Forge's titles, I'm truly impressed. Every game feels like a unique gateway into the heart of the League of Legends universe. It's clear that each title is meticulously crafted with passion and overflowing with creativity. These games go beyond the familiar battlefields of the Rift, offering a profound dive into the complexities of Runeterra's lore. They unveil surprising narrative depth, showcasing the rich stories that lie beneath the surface. Sadly, all good things must eventually conclude. On January 22, 2024, Riot Games announced a reduction in its workforce, affecting approximately 11%, 530 employees, 
alongside the decision to shutter Riot Forge. They did this to ensure long-term sustainability, prioritizing the allocation of resources towards core live service titles such as League of Legends, Valorant, Teamfight Tactics, and Wild Rift. The closure of Riot Forge marks a significant change, one that ends an era of external development within the League of Legends universe. Though Riot acknowledged the Forge team's achievements and expressed gratitude to its partners, the decision reflects a new strategic direction. While future collaborations or single-player experiences aren't entirely ruled out, they will likely differ significantly from the Riot Forge model we've come to know. As the dust settles on Riot Forge's closure, questions linger about what went wrong. Despite the critical acclaim received by titles like Ruined King and Song of Nunu, it appeared that these games had failed to meet Riot's sales expectations. The closure of Riot Forge served as a reminder of the complexities involved in navigating the gaming industry, where even well-received titles can struggle to find commercial success. If you found this video informative and entertaining, please consider giving it a thumbs up, sharing it with your friends, and leaving a comment below with your thoughts. For more captivating content and to stay updated with our latest videos, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Your support means the world to us. See you in the next video.